can you paint a picture i guess for any anyone listening who so what what does this card look like uh, how how big is it what what's kind of you, you mentioned a little bit about the form um that the solar panels I, I think could you kind of just paint paint that picture um so it's kind of like a honda accord size like it's, it's a decent sized vehicle um but it's got a very unique shape to it right like it's a teardrop shape um and then it's got wheel uh, pants you know similar to what you see on like a world war ii fighter plane kind of thing um you know to give the wheels aerodynamic efficiency uh, but yeah no it's it's a it's a tapered airfoil um zero pressure points on the whole car like the whole vehicle is essentially designed with um some pretty serious aerodynamicists you know some pretty serious software um and a little bit of ai in towards the end uh, to help us with the final tuning but um it's basically like the perfect laminar flow vehicle which means that the nowhere on the vehicle does the airflow detach from the surface it perfectly stays on the vehicle with the same pressure all the way to the back as it exits the vehicle we have two little vents where the cabin air comes out and it just fills in that little hole behind the car so basically the car leaves like zero wake so you look at its turbulent profile behind the vehicle it just goes into a line and disappears hmm. so there's no there's no turbulence there's no you know anything happening behind the car that's going to cause drag so it's it's uh yeah, no, it's, it's, it's beautiful from the aerodynamic standpoint. And it also gave us a fairly beautiful looking body from a um, aesthetic standpoint as well. That's like, cool. um, yeah, I mean, people that see it, they go like, wow, <laughs> that's like nothing you've ever seen before. Right. So it's a, it's a different experience. Um, How, uh, how's the drag coefficient compared to vehicles that are on the road now for personal use? Like how, um, how big of a difference is it? Oh, orders of magnitude. Like, I mean, the, the one that we used to say was that the, the total drag of the Aptera is the same as the windshield wipers on a Ford pickup truck, right? So that's, uh, uh, you know, it had the same aerodynamic efficiency as a 12 inch cube, we figured at one point. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the amount of drag it creates, is it, right? So, so the efficiency gains are, are, are absurd, right? And really like to us, like anybody who, like you're an engineer, you understand about efficiency gains, um, and you understand about current vehicles and the, and the, and the possibility for like huge efficiency gains has been staring us in the face for probably 80 years, right? Uh, there was a gentleman in the twenties, his name was Paul Jure, and he was a French, I believe, engineer, might've been Austrian, um, responsible for some of the Zeppelin, early Zeppelin designs. Um, he spent the last half of his career trying to educate people on vehicle aerodynamics. And, um, even back then in the twenties, thirties, I think Tatra was the only person to use one of his designs on the Tatra 77. Um, everybody else basically said, yeah, we're not interested. <laughs> like we don't care about aerodynamics, right? Yeah. And he, he ended his career basically uh, like as a, as a poor man because nobody would actually understand what he was trying to communicate, right? And it seemed that everybody just ignored the guy. And then ever since then, uh, no one's actually made a really good attempt at making anything like aerodynamic. Mm -hmm. Like we're at like 0 0.3, 0 0.2 range for like all vehicles. Like I don't think, I think the new Mercedes might have bested 0.2. But most cars are 0 0.3, 0 0.4. I mean, it's abysmal, right? I mean, you look at the gains that could be had. So where we're coming in at, you know, 0.12, um, you know, we're just, if you look on the Wikipedia page of aerodynamic vehicles, you'll see um, at the bottom of the list, all the solar car programs, and then there's us, and then there's everybody else, right? So <clears throat> like, we're like, you know, it's, it's quite impressive actually what we've managed to achieve as far as like efficiency gains from aerodynamics and, and weight savings, right? So. That's the other thing too, the vehicle's only, what, 1,800 pounds, 2,000 pounds, you know, in that kind of range. It might be a few hundred pounds more when we hit the production model kind of thing. But uh, again, according to like uh, most road cars, it's an extremely lightweight vehicle. Yeah, what's the, uh, what's the driving experience like uh, vehicle dynamics, acceleration, et cetera? No, it's, it's really nice. It's um, because it's kind of a larger car. It doesn't suffer the same like um, instability feelings that you might find in a smaller three-wheeler. Um, and we've got the weight distribution um, set so that, um, there's this classic equations, how you do uh, traction control and stability in three-wheel vehicles. We followed all those. Um, and so when you drive the car, it feels like a regular car. Like, you don't, the only time you would ever think that it only has one wheel in the back is if you hit a, a pothole in the center of the road, you might be like, oh, there's only one wheel back there, right? Otherwise, you don't really feel like it's any different than a regular car. Um, acceleration is extremely brisk. Uh, there's a few videos online of Chris taking people around the parking lot now, and uh, you can see the acceleration. It's, uh, you know, it's very quick. Yeah. 